Once a year, Riot Games collects 20 players with professional aspirations and pits them against each other in an effort to showcase their skill to LCS teams. Formerly, each of these players came from solo queue, but since last year, Riot has opened an amateur circuit in order to fill 10 of these precious spots, which ultimately can decide the career trajectory of an aspiring professional player. This circuit is currently comprised of around 18 teams vying for one of these two spots, where all five of their players will be entered into scouting grounds and will compete for the attention of professional organizations. One of these teams is Mirage Esports, who was on pace to make a splash in the circuit until their star 80 carry, Asta, was signed by Team Dignitas for the 2020 Summer Academy split. The rosters for the scouting ground circuit were locked at this point, but Riot Games allowed an exception to Mirage. They had one choice, one player in order to replace their superstar AD carry, who was bright enough to be acquired by an academy team. So, each of the players scouted the latter. Most of the best players had already been picked up by a scouting grounds team already, so they had to find free agents, which was much easier said than done. Enter Asilion. Asilion is a curious case. His experience in competitive League of Legends was limited. In fact, the first games he played were earlier this year on an amateur team called Horizon Esports, a now defunct organization which competed in the spring split of Upsurge Premier League, which was likely the biggest amateur tournament of all time before Scouting Ground Circuit came along. A ton of big names that you may recognize come from this tournament. Tactical, Jenkins, Five Fire, Evolved, Tomo, and many more. Oh yeah, and this guy. Weird how that works. Horizon Esports' roster wasn't that great, but their group was objectively the weakest in the league, and they managed to make playoffs before dropping out immediately to the teams from the rougher groups. Asilion had made a name for himself on Horizon. Despite Horizon's group being weak, Asilion differentiated himself from the other ADCs, and his play was regarded as extremely impressive. Yeah, and remember, you said pumping all the resources into Asilion. Asilion is actually the number one AD carry statistically in the Upsurge Premier League. He's got the highest KDA, the highest CS per minute, I believe, the highest gold per minute. All of those stats that you really want to lead, he is leading in them. So this is a guy that can carry your team on his back, and especially on a champion as strong as the Aphelios. Asilion's journey in the scouting ground circuit would begin on June 5th, when he joined Mirage Esports. He was a raw talent, he held Challenger at 1000 LP, and he was 15 years old. I had the opportunity to speak with Asilion personally about his experience within the circuit and how it's affected him as a player. Hey, I'm Tony Ng, also known as Asilion, ADC from Mirage. I am currently 800 LP, peaked 1k LP and I hope to strive to become one of the best in this game. Asilion's play is different from what you would expect from a young AD carry star. Asilion is extremely calculated in his play. You would expect an inexperienced AD carry like Asilion to be on the cutting edge of mechanics, while perhaps being clueless in his positioning, rotations, and overall macro play. A big reason why people were so surprised to find out Asilion's age was primarily due to his cold-headed playstyle. Asilion's mechanics are good undoubtedly, but his patience and temperament lends him a playstyle that is much more reserved than nature. In fact, Asilion has the second fewest deaths per game on average compared to every AD carry in the circuit, at only 2.8 deaths. Asilion doesn't compromise much for the safety either. He's tied for 5th in damage share relative to the other AD carries in SGC at 28.4% damage share. It should be stated, however, that Mirage as a team doesn't favor Senna lanes like some other teams, so this may distort damage share in regards to other AD carries. In any case, Asilion is observably a main carry for his team, who hits a great balance between playing safe while maximizing his damage. This is best showcased in his team fights. While Asilion isn't necessarily bad in lane, it's observably one of his weaker attributes as a player. Team fighting is like, it shows a lot of mechanics in the player on, on how you move as an AD carry, and how you can position yourself as an AD carry to do as much damage as possible. Beyond that, Asilion is capable of filling a variety of roles for his team. He can play carries such as Ezreal or Aphelios, but is also capable of playing Ash. Even in the higher levels of play, there are AD carries that are limited in their playstyle, or are unwilling to take a back seat for their team. Asilion plays each game purely to win, both in solo queue and in scouting grounds. Right now, a shift in meta is taking place as teams start to turn away from these higher damage picks into more lane-oriented playstyles. While these picks aren't in Asilion's traditional pool, he's more than willing to sacrifice his own appearance and step out of his comfort zone to do what his team needs in order to succeed, even if that means not being a premier carry.
if my team I can set up team my team to carry me. Even though I'm a carry too, I can set up team fights. I can start out and they engage with my arrows. Something that drags a lot of teams down, which coincides with that before mentioned point, is ego. In LCS, Worlds, Amateur, and even your solo queue games, ego exists nearly anywhere you look. Scouting ground circuit teams are known to disband from ego alone, and a lot of players, not naming names, are known for being slightly a teensy weensy cocky to an extent, but that's none of my business. One would expect a player like Asilion, hitting challenger 1000 LP, being the youngest prospect in the circuit, and competing for an upper tier team, to have a, perhaps deservingly, massive ego. But in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, Asilion is one of the most polite, respectful, and humble league players I've ever interacted with. I just try to encourage myself to, and motivate myself to play it as much as possible to learn instead of playing for LP, sometimes for LP, but most of the time I want to play to improve and learn the game to become a better player and a better teammate. Watching Asilion is interesting due to his very ability as a player. While he's prone to the occasional unlucky game, Mirage are definitely a team that cannot be counted out until they're actually out. While a lot of this is due to their mid laner Robbie Bob and his admirable carry performances, Asilion's personality is on his sleeve while he plays. He is completely untiltable. Specifically, Asilion's lane statistics are indicative of this nature. Asilion's gold plus XP at 10 minutes is ranked 17th out of the 25 AD carries in the circuit. There's a lot of factors that go into lane statistics, such as matchups and jungle proximity, but the fact alone is there. Typically, Asilion is behind when laning phase ends, due to one thing or another. That being said, that disadvantage doesn't hinder Asilion in the slightest. His team fighting talent is unwavering, and even in games that seem doomed, Mirage is always capable of coming back from the absolute brink of death. Despite accomplishing a monumental feat such as reaching Challenger 1000 LP at such a young age, Asilion is nowhere close to being satisfied with himself. Asilion is not the best AD carry in the scouting ground circuit, but there is something tangible about him that separates him from a lot of players I've interacted with. He's very relatable. He recognizes his own inexperience, and wants to grow from it. He wants to be the very best player he can be, and doesn't let an aggrandized perception of his own skill get in the way of it. He's a hard worker, and it's apparent in the nearly 1,000 games he's played in this season alone, on top of the nearly daily scrims and circuit matches. Asilion has a lot to work on, but his work ethic is putting him on the right track to success. He was thrown from solo queue straight into the deep fryer that is the scouting ground circuit, and he has proven himself capable in this new environment. If you want to watch Asilion for yourself, there's links in the description below. One to the Scouting Grounds navigation box in Legopedia, where you can keep up to date on Mirage's record in each Scouting Grounds tournament they're competing in, and one to each Twitch channel in which Mirage is currently competing. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my graphics designer, KingMe. He creates the thumbnails and graphics for my videos, and I couldn't make this video without his help. Thanks to Asilion, who was willing to take time out of his day to help me make this video. On a serious note, Asilion is unironically really likable, and I wouldn't include that if this wasn't true. I used to not care much for Mirage, but after talking to Asilion, I can't help but find myself wanting them to win and succeed. But that's all for me. I'll see you next week.